Good evening. Patients suffering from allergic rhinitis and chronic rhinosinusitis tend to use corticosteroid nasal sprays. With less than 1% bioavailability, these sprays are very safe to use. But it is imperative that we need to know their proper technique for usage. First of all, gently blow your nose to clear off any excretions. Do not use force while doing so. After that, clean your hands with soap and water. This is the nasal spray. To hold the nasal spray, first of all, we keep our thumb at the lower part like this and both our fingers around the nozzle like this. First of all, we need to shake the spray approximately for 10 seconds. After that, we remove the plastic cap and spray the nasal spray in the air. This is known as priming. The medicine should come out in the form of a mist. This priming is required when we are using the spray for the first time or if we are using it after a gap of few days. Now we put the spray into our nostril. The direction of the spray should be a little outwards. This is required because that is the area where we need the spray to act the most. If we keep the spray straight, the medicine will enter our throat. This will provide us a bitter taste and also the efficacy of the spray will be reduced. If we keep it a little inwards, the medicine will strike the nasal septum causing injury over it. The simplest way to do this is to hold the spray in the opposite hand of the inside of the nose that we are using the spray in. For example, if we are to use the spray in our left nostril, we hold the spray in our right hand. And if we are to use the spray in our right nostril, we hold the spray in our left hand. Now, if we have to put the spray in our left nostril, we will be holding the spray in our right hand. We insert the spray into the nostril, keeping its direction a little outwards. The direction should roughly correspond towards the outer corner of the eye. We bend our head downwards and spray it once. After this, we need to hold our breath for 10 to 15 seconds. We can sniff a little bit like this, but a forceful inspiration should not be done. This should not be done. After doing a normal inspiration and expiration three or four times, we can use the spray in the other side now. We hold the spray in our left hand and spray in our right nostril. Again, keeping the direction outwards and bending our head downwards, we spray again once. We sniff a little bit, hold our breath for 10 to 15 seconds. I repeat again, we don't have to forcefully inspire. A forceful inspiration will cause the medicine to enter our chest causing increasing its efficacy and also causing a bitter taste in our mouth. This completes our procedure. If the doctor has advised two sprays in each nostril, we spray like this. Spray number one in this nose, spray number two in this side, spray number three back in this side and spray number four in this side. Do not spray like one, two, three and four. This will not provide us with full efficacy of the spray. Now to store the spray, you replace the cap over it. Store the spray like this. Do not store it in a lying down position like this. This is so because there is a pipe which connects the tip to the bottom of the spray. There is a suction mechanism which sucks the medicine out from the lower part up to the nozzle and causing a mist to dwell. In case we are storing it in a lying down position, the pipe will remain empty. So we have to prime the spray again and again every time we use it. This will cause wastage of the product.